Hey everyone, and welcome to Street Level Strategies. I'm joined with John T. Mig, Producing Sales Manager at Prosperity Home Mortgage. How are you doing today, John? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Bobby John. Awesome. Um, well, thanks so much for being here today. I would love to start off. Do you want to just do a quick intro, intro to you? Uh, yes. Uh, my name is John Humig. I'm with um, I'm a producing sales manager with Prosperity Home Mortgage. I've been here um, between home services and prosperity for about eight years, a total of 10 years in the in, as a mortgage originator and about 16 years in um, financial services in general. Nice. Um, nice live here in Tucson and um, yeah, I think that's nice. Nice. Um, no, that's great. Um, and so I'd love to talk a little bit about just jumping right in. How are you looking at these next couple months? So what type of strategies? Are there anything specifically that you're focusing on? Um, I'd love to hear a little bit from your perspective on how your you or your teams um, are approaching these next couple months in the industry. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, I mean, we're looking for another uh, rough few months, um, I think. And um, for me and my team, you know, the, I think the biggest thing that we're going to be doing is just staying in touch with people. Um, you know, it's important that even if we're not working with these uh, buyers right now, if they're not ready to go, that we continue to, you know, stay in touch, reach out, talk yeah. to them see how they're feeling. Cause we, I mean, I've had people that have turned around and said, you know, we need to go ahead and buy now anyways. Yeah. So um, yeah. same with the agents, you know, the agents are um, there. It's kind of lean out there for them too. So they're, you know, it's great to reach out to them, give them a little bit of inspiration, you know, really stay in touch with them and make sure that, that we're doing whatever we can to help them grow their business, yeah. market their business as well. Yeah. Well, let's dive into those two categories. So first things first, so staying in touch with people, any specific ways that you're doing this or you're coaching your teams on, like, are you setting goals? Are you um, using specific technologies? How are you coaching your team or yourself on how to, how you're going to stay in front of those clients or past clients? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, there's some, there's a, a manual piece to it, of course, but I think probably the most part is coming out of total expert. Okay. Um, so one of the, the big strategies that I've been doing, because I've also started buying leads recently, um, yeah. is I've started to set up leads into a journey that yeah. will go out every few days, a little bit heavier up front, and then um, transition into a, a slower drip after that. Um, with the with real estate agents, I've been trying to get in front of as well, um, like newer ones. Um, I've been utilizing the, uh, we have a journey set up for new agents that give some highlights of how we can help them with uh, keeping their, or getting their borrowers qualified, uh, getting them the best offers out there because it's still competitive, even though, you know, there's not a lot of buyers, there's so little inventory, it's still yeah. important for their buyers to be competitive. Um, you know, all the, all the different things that we can do to help them, those are going out automatically, you know, yeah. in addition to that, I'm, I'm still, you know, trying to keep a, a, an eye on the roster of all the alien or agents that I work with on a, on a daily basis and try to give them a phone call here and there and just make sure yeah. that we're actually staying in touch. Yeah. So you're leveraging heavily automation to, um, make sure that right up front, those leads are getting communicated with, right? And, yeah. and you're saying it's heavier to start with, and then you kind of put them on a longer um, journey or drip per se, right? To make sure that right out the door and you're even, you've started buying leads, right? And is that, a, that's been a new kind of strategy over these next last couple months, I probably assume. Yeah. Yeah. I just started that about three months ago. Um, and initially I was trying to, um, you know, do all the communication myself and, and send out emails and stuff. And, yeah. And I realized like that's that's a lot of work because you're trying these leads, you know, you might get one out of 20 that actually turn into something. So you're trying to keep in touch with right. people. So that really made it, you know, we actually already had a, um, a purchase, a lead purchase, purchase lead journey set up yeah. in Total Expert. So I started utilizing that. I have one intro email I send outside of Total Expert and then I just put them into the system and um, start sending out those, those light touch. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good point, right? As we talk about if you're buying leads or you're getting leads from a different source, right? That it may be one in 20, one in 300, right? That actually turn into an application, right? Or, or something further. Um, so being like having to send out 
hundreds of emails manually is just not a scalable approach. But when you have the ability to have the automation say, all right, here are all the leads, let's put them on this journey and then notify me when, you know, one does turn into an application or one does, you know, actually turn into a, um, a, a purchase, right? So yeah. that's really the power of, of scaling and the, in the automation there. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. And, and it, you know, it, it alerts me if, I mean, I don't have to do anything if they convert to an application, just already right. knows and stops the journey. So, right. um, That's you know, journey. another piece that, uh, that I've been using is we use a service called AdWorks for um, yeah. retargeting. So I'll send their emails and their phone numbers into that. So then they're getting emails from me automatically through total expert when they're on the web, they're looking and they see my, my ad right. on there. So trying to get in front of people as much as possible, I think is the biggest yeah. It is, uh, challenge right now. Yeah. So you're leveraging ads and and then those leads will funnel into total expert as well. If, if any come from that, yeah, I can put them awesome. in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, just being able to get in front of as many people as possible and and then keep them nurtured, right? So they're not yeah. they're not falling through the cracks from because right now any lead is probably a you know something you yeah. want you want to tap into, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Any other, so in terms of agents, so how are you looking at, you know, beyond journey, you know, automation and, and really educating them? Any other strategies that you're leveraging? Because I know that right now our, a lot of folks are really trying to trap, tap into their agent relationships, referrals, you know, different leads, things like that. Um, any specific strategies around referral partners? Um, you know, I've been setting up blocks of time that I'm actually doing like one-on-ones with right. agents. Um, I think a lot of us in the company are doing that right now. So we're, yeah. um, you know, I'll, for I have several offices I go to, so I've been setting up four hour blocks of time and trying to get people to sign up. And if they're not signing up, then I'm going to go out and grab them in the hallway and say, Hey, come sit down with me. Let's right. talk. Talking about their planning for next year, talking about, you know, how they're doing this year, how they're feeling, you know, yeah. um, if they have more buyers or sellers, you know, if their listings are sitting, um, you know, just really trying to get an idea of what their business looks like, engage how they're they're feeling about everything and, and trying to be there to support them and say, you know, OK, we've had this great conversation. Now, here's some things maybe I can offer you. Yep. Uh, what, what do you think of these things? You know, yeah. trying to, to help them, too, because we can get get more buyers for them than more loans for us. Right. Right. And now's a great time to get face to face with agents as people have a little bit more time to be able to sit down. And I love that you're saying it's more of a strategy conversation and hey how can i provide value to you as an agent so it's less yep. about a give me give me give me but it's let me help me understand what your what your business looks like and what how are you looking to the next three six months you know how can i be in service with you as that as an originator yeah that's awesome yeah cool any other specific strategies or things that your fo focus areas that you're looking at for these next couple months um, not any, I mean, there's not any specific focus areas, you know, things, the markets are shifting more towards, um, government loans are having better interest rates and things yeah. like that. They're trying to educate people about the, um, especially agents that might be afraid of like FHA loans, just trying to educate them about what that means and how it's not actually, yeah. bad. it's going to be better for everybody in the long run. If we can get the buyers yeah. into the right types of loans. Yeah. That's great education around the industry and how things are changing. Cause I don't think that. I don't think that the average day, you know, person really understands what, like, unless you're, you know, into understanding the industry and the market, I don't think many consumers know what that means. And so being able to educate your buyers or educate, you know, leads about those specific options and what that means and how that could benefit them, right? That's a, that's a, um, something really powerful, right? The educational tool yeah. of it. Do you send out any educational content via the the platform or any ways through there? Or is it more manual video? Do you leverage video at all? Um, I do leverage some video for my uh, my uh, in process. So when I have a loan sure. in process, the videos go out. Um, for education, um, you know, we have a we have newsletters that go out automatically to agents. Um, we have market updates that go out automatically sure. to agents. And um, I don't get a whole lot of feedback on those, but every once in a while I get a call or, you know, a, an email yeah. response. Is, you know, let's talk more about this. Yeah. Um, really, you know, in the meetings, office meetings every week, I have some new topic to bring to them, you know, educate them. We're also doing, you know, in-person lunch and learns and those kind of things. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, right now is such a good time to just get in front of people. 
whatever right. that means. Right. So, yeah. Right. That's awesome. What specific type of, when you say lunch and learns, what type of content are you doing those lunch and learns? Is it like first time home buyer? Is it different, you know, government, different type loans? What, what type of yeah. content are you doing? Um, some I've done this year, I've done the, I call it back to basics, which is just teaching them regular loans, uh, like conventional nice. FHA, VA. Uh, another one was a, a, a credit repair. Uh, nice. Lunch and learn, which my partner, Eric, actually brought his credit repair partner on yeah. and uh, she conducted the whole thing on Zoom for our um, for our office. And we did one on marketing, which we actually used Co Total Expert and showed the agents how to log into their own Total Expert and nice. see what the leads that we can share with them. Um, nice. you know, so they can utilize that tool. I know they all have their own CRMs. Yeah. Sometimes they don't use them. Oh, great. <laughs> Um, you know, and then we'll do things like advanced lending, which would be like down payment assistance programs and right. yay and um, kind of unusual stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great, that's a great thing. I've been hearing a lot of folks doing lunch and learns with different types of content, especially, you know, a powerful one is around credit repair and any, if you can even bring in someone affiliate partners, right. That can help yeah. assist in that conversation. That's a huge value add to, to consumers, past clients, even, new leads, prospects, right? That's a really great way to get in front of large amounts of folks and pro be providing value. I've, I've actually heard that from quite a few um, folks doing similar yeah. aspects, right? And seeing a lot of power in them. Yep. Yeah, Absolutely. that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, John, this was great. Um, thank you so much for popping on and just sharing a little bit about how you're looking at these next couple of months and some of the strategies and ways that you're, you know, you know, focusing in and, and helping your team. So um, this is really great. I really appreciate you hopping on. Thank you so much, Bobby Jones. Awesome. Well, we'll see you soon. See you later.